Imagine a year where they can talk in movies now? What? What the sound? This is magical. What is this year? It's 1929. Hello and welcome to Oldie But A Goodie. Oh, it's the podcast where we're talking about movies from 1920 to 1969. My name is Sandro. My co-host Zach's not here at the moment, but I'm stuck in a I'm stuck in a wormhole. I was pulled into a wormhole through my portal. My portal opened up and it sucked me in. Oh, it was left on a cliffhanger last week. Oh, what's how? I've landed. I've landed in some sort of secluded location. Oh, there's birds over there. Is that the sound of a monkey? I'm making editing really annoying for myself. Hello. Hi, who are you? Have you drawn me to your to your secluded castle? Yes, yes, I've pulled you in. Quick, the bunker down. Oh, yes, let me get down. Yes. Oh, where's wait, the orphan? Is the orphan British? okay? I'm supposed to be um, at New York. New York. New York. New York. Say New York. From Brooklyn. Say Brooklyn. Brooklyn. Yeah, get down, get down. The bomb's going to be flying any minute now. The bomb's... Oh, I know. Is the orphan okay? Is the orphan... I don't oh, know. Yeah, he's over there somewhere uh, eating candy or something. I don't know what that kid's doing. He's getting chased by a monkey. Anyway. Hello, governor. <laughs> wow. Are you the Sandro Felt chair? Uh, close, but yes. yes. That's what I'm known as on the, on, the, on the internet sometimes. Yes, in some circles. You are the Herald of Doom. I'm the that what? brought disaster to the future. Oh, are you from the future? Uh, sort of. I'm like 20 years... In, well, actually, I was From the born, 40s? Well, actually, I was born 1912, so... Oh, okay. But, but... Uh, I'm from Brooklyn. I'm from Brooklyn. <laughs> Thanks. I keep forgetting. Thanks for that. Yep. Yeah, yeah. I'm uh, Milton uh, Friedman. Oh, yes. I'm an uh, economic and statistic expert. Oh, oh, right. And you've you've looked at the statistics of me mm-hmm. and the time travel and you've realised that doom is coming. Is that what's going on here? Oh, yeah. Well, uh, right. <laughs> I don't know where my fucking accent's going today. <laughs> Right We're in now, a scary forest, anything right, can happen. Right now, the Wall Street crash of 1929 <laughs> is happening, and it's because you teleported oh, back. Because I went back to 1920. Yes. Oh, I caused the Wall Street crash, so and the- I caused what's his name to get all those bad people from the future to come what? now? Oh, yeah, yeah, or yeah, is yeah, all th- of that. This not feeding into it's, that. that no, that line. is part of the storyline okay, in a vague cool. manner. No, 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 what's going to happen? Is you the really sound that, like you're from Australia. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> it's because of the beer. All <laughs> oh, right, you're, you're drinking a beer. Yeah, look, it's the end of the world. Anyway, New York, New York. So uh, I guess I could do a, I guess I could do a New York. Yeah, accent. Brooklyn's in New York. Yeah, well, it's it's not where he's from technically, but oh, anyway, okay. in, in New York. All right. Oh fuck. <laughs> I got a New York accent. Oh, yeah, you're Arnie go. now. Yeah, well, I, there That's was a little bit enough. there. That's there close. was a little bit there. That's it's close. It's a New York accent. Yeah. So because of your actions that you're taking right now, a terrible future awaits us. Mm. They're going to invent a thing around the 2000s that will destroy the world and bring it to financial ruin. Ooh, the 2000s? Are you talking about... Bitcoin! Yeah, NFTs! <laughs> oh no! Because of your actions, NFTs I'm will the be reason invented. why NFTs happened! Yes! Oh no! It's gonna cause complete economic ruin. It's because Jake Paul was taken back. Not Jake Paul, I thought it was Logan Paul. They're both coming back? Yes! Oh no! Well, thank you for warning me. Yep. I. What year are we in now, by the way? Uh, 1929. Oh, I thought that you were going to like pull me into like another future year or something and I'd have to get back to 1929 to do the podcast, but you just kind of brought me one year no, into the future like no, I was already planning. I can't time travel. I don't have a time travel device. I How just did have, you pull me into the portal? I just have an interception ray for your portal. Oh, right. An interception ray. Yes. Yeah, that I uh, stole off uh, Harry Grindel. Uh, you stole it off of him? Well, yeah. Is he like your arch nemesis or something? Oh no, everyone knows him. He's the ruler of the world, of oh, course. Oh fuck, no, that happened. 
That's that happened between episodes. Yeah. Oh no! It's been like less than a year, and already he's taken over the world. Oh, this is bad. This is really bad. Well, I'm gonna need to record a podcast, so mm. I'm gonna need your mind to be empty. So just go ahead and do that, and let my co-host come on in. Oh yeah, before I go, there's something really important I need to tell you. Oh, what is it? That will decide the fate of the world. Oh, you know? it's, it's like, it's like it's a choose vital. your own adventure for me, a podcast host? No, it's choose the right actions to do so the world doesn't get doomed. Ah, uh, you haven't seen me play Telltale games. I like to fuck everyone over. What? Then why would you do that? <laughs> this is the real world. That's a terrible... <laughs> this, what? This is vital information that could save the world from NFTs and just general fuckery that's... Yeah gonna happen yeah it's vitally important all right what is take it? this seriously tell me tell me oh yeah well it <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> zach you dickhead hey. what what the fuck you came into the body of a man he was about to tell me how to fix everything what do you mean surely you could just ask him at the end of the episode when i leave his body oh my god it's a cliffhanger halfway through the episode <laughs> yeah let's talk about the movie how you doing i don't care let's talk about the mysterious wow. island zach wow that was short-lived you didn't even pretend to care how i was doing i'm doing well yeah. thank you so you've moved right it's yeah good. i moved oh yeah. it's stressful There's i don't care things. let's talk <laughs> about <laughs> Got him. All right, yeah. <laughs> Let's talk about the final movie that we're doing from the 20s. Mm. Then a mysterious island from 1929. I'm not going to lie. There wasn't anything mysterious about this shitty ass island. They revealed what was going on from the get-go. <laughs> so, yeah. It was... <laughs> I was expecting a Lost World situation where we go to the island, yeah. not start on the island, and go to somewhere else that is mysterious. Underwater city, yeah. Yeah, it's, it wasn't quite what I was expecting, mm. but we had audio. Mmm, this is a part talkie. How many minutes would you say included talking? Well, at least two. At least two minutes. It was pretty impressive. Yeah, uh, there was also sound effects. There were sound effects. And like, they were blah, 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 blah. Yeah, you, you loved it when there was a crowd of people, because it would do, like, a crowd of people sound effects, which was just... <laughs> it was fantastic. Sing the ship. Uh, Fuck the woman. The queen. What? The queen. <laughs> Lightning? Yes. Lightning McQueen? But yeah, there was that. There was um, there was uh, special effects, really impressive special effects, like... Mm. Uh, Forced perspective with an octopus. Ah, oh, yeah, that was fun. That was good fun. Um, and other spoilerific things we'll talk about later. Uh, spoilers: Absolutely. there's uh, there's fish men in this movie, and they look Whoa, fucking amazing. They were pretty good. Yeah, That's yeah, the, yeah. It's the cover of the episode. Hey, I think. I'll just put some fish oh, men on the cover. Yeah, of the yeah, yeah. Spoiler alert: the first fifty minutes of this film was boring. <laughs> it was pretty. So this is based off the Jules Verne <laughs> novel, The Mysterious Island, which I don't know if you know it, but it's um. It's kind of, you, you know, it's in the same world as 2,000 Leagues Under the Sea or 20,000 nice. Leagues because it's yep. Captain Nemo. Yeah. And in the book, The Mysterious Island, uh, you learn that Captain Nemo's name is Count Dacca. So the main character of uh-huh. this movie is Captain Nemo, but he's not called Captain Nemo. Of course not. Because this also doesn't follow the story of the book. This is like a no. prequel? Yes. To the book? <laughs> Very weird. This this was not what I was expecting. No, not because last week we did an, a pro war anti revolution movie. Yeah, and this week we're doing another anti revolution movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You chose another anti revolution because the first fifty minutes of it is this conflict um, because uh, Dakar. Yep, and his friend, his friend uh, Fallon. Fallon, Nothing oh yeah, ever Duke, had good... Duke Fallon or whatever the fuck his name is. Mm-hmm. Um, he wants Fallon wants to start a fucking revolution and yeah, you know, fucking take over, take over, become king. And I don't Dakar's... even know where this is set or when, but it's yeah, a place where you can become king apparently. Yeah, well, I mean, if you take over the place, you could become king of anything. Yeah, you're right. The first fifty minutes of this was fucking boring and uh, kind of bad. Well, not bad. It was fine for half an hour. And then the 20-minute section where the action happened on the island was boring. Yeah, yeah. So it it starts off with half an hour of this whole thing where you've got this conflict brewing, Mm. which leads to Fallon taking over the island. Which sucks. 
which is boring because yeah. we're not here for that. We want to get to the mysterious island bit, but this is the island bit, but it's the outside of the island bit, which is actually the mysterious bit. We want to go under the island. Up. And it does get to there. And it's pretty good. Once mm. it gets to there, we had a good time. It was yeah. very fun. Very fun. There's fish people. Spoiler, fish people. There's fish people. Fish people. It's great. It's great. But... Yeah, the journey to get there is uh, rough. Yes. It's a rough one. M- much like the journey to Atlantis. Mm. It is full of obstacles. You, what do you mean this movie is just Atlantis, The Lost Empire? Yeah, it's, it stole it from... <laughs> Same film. Yeah. I would say subscribe to our Patreon and listen to our review of that movie, but I nev- I don't think I want to listen to that drunken review that we did, <laughs> but it's up there and you can listen to it. Oh yeah, I forgot how absolutely done we were at that point. <laughs> we were fucked. I I think I prefer this over the dinosaur movie. Okay. Because the dinosaur movie was just like slow and boring. Mm. Whereas with this, it was slow and boring, but it led up to something that was very cool. Yeah. Well, I prefer the dinosaur movie because it was consistently about the fucking dinosaurs. That's a good point. <laughs> Could counter argument. Didn't have 50 minutes of nonsense that I didn't give a shit about. Mm. But to be fair, I have more nostalgia for that story than I do sure. for this one. Whereas I love Jules Verne stuff yeah, and H.D. Yeah. Wells and all that more so than Conan Doyle's adventure f- uh, books. Yeah, yeah. But, I mean, I don't even... like If you like Jules Verne, this is not an adaptation of The Mysterious Island. This mm. is its own weird thing. Yeah, this was, this was weird. I was like, I don't really recognize the story from this. Because I've heard the story, you know, I listened to the story, but like... Yeah. I, long time ago i couldn't remember it and i'm like do i just not remember it right or no, something no it just isn't this yeah yeah it's got the character kind of of captain nemo yeah. except he's not captain nemo no and it's just like i don't know revolution or something yeah <laughs> it's just like what <laughs> why and as we've already said this podcast is very pro war yeah so we... very pro war so we, we were enjoyed. disappointed that there was another revolution stopping the I'm war. I'm tired of these revolutions in my motherfucking movies. I couldn't think of a funny Dictatorial way to... countries. Yeah, exactly. Anyway, uh, shall we get to some spoilers? I guess. I, I don't have anything else to say, really, in spoiler-free. Yeah, because um, we need to talk about the fish people. Something. Oh, we can talk about the designs for stuff. Like the oh, that's, shit, true. that's the, true. You know, if you know anything about Captain Nemo, he's got a submarine... Uh, and it looks really good. It yeah, looks yeah, good yeah. in this movie. It's funny because they, they keep referring it to as like a deep sea ship or something. You yes. know, they they like they, they don't say submarine because it wasn't a common term back then, which no. was rather amusing. And the book was written in the in the eighteen seventies. Yeah, yeah, which yeah. Is way before Which is funny, yeah, because it's way before submarines existed. Although during this time, World War One had happened, yes. and there were submarines used in World War One. They so. were around at this point. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it's very amusing in that sense. I wonder um, when submarine became the term to call them. It was probably yeah. after they'd been in movies or something. Sure. Yeah, it might have like been after World War Two because I think they were more prevalent in World War Two. Yeah, probably if that makes sense. Aside from that, I think the visuals were very nice. Yes. Once we fucking got to them. Mm. And, uh... Um, oh, we get the ship pretty early on. Oh, that's true. We do see it going going around underwater, which is nice. It's just um, a toy in a fish tank. Which it, spoilers! <laughs> Sandro! <laughs> Unbelievable. Just a, it's just a toy in a fish tank, and they're looking out the window, and they're like, Look no, at all these not. aquarium fishies. It's, it's underwater, Sandro. I, I'm not saying that is a bad thing. It's underwater. I'm not, I'm not saying... It's 2000... Underwaters, under the underwater. <laughs> <laughs> I really, I really enjoyed how it's just a toy in a. Shut tub. up! It's not a toy. It's a ship. It's a ship. So it's a good. ship. You're breaking my immersion. Oh no! Your immersion that was totally not broken by a giant octopus. <laughs> we'll get there. Um, but yeah, that was fun. It flip flops between being silent and having sound effects. Yeah, and I liked how there's one scene where they're sneaking around in like their suits? I don't know what you'd call them. Like, underwater suits? Uh, oh, they have a uh, nautilus suits. Mm. Is their technical the, term. The technical term? Well, yeah. I like technical terms, so thank you for using the technical yeah, term. Yeah, there you go. They're sneaking around in them. I'm a fucking nerd. And they apparently can sneak around in them. Whereas if you've ever <laughs> worn them, 
<laughs> you know that it's clonk, clonk, clonk. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. Because yeah. the movie, it's a silent movie sometimes, it chooses to be silent in that moment so yeah, they can yeah. sneak up on people. That is funny. Yeah, I didn't even think about that at the time <laughs> I was watching it. Oh, yeah. They would be clunking around in those suits, absolutely. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. No sneaking for those. No sneaking. Uh, I was going to say... I liked the voice acting in this movie. The voice acting? Ha <laughs> Because it was all dubbed. It's the, it's the only film we've had voice acting in so far this year. True. I'm going to say, this this movie had better voice acting than all the other previous movies <laughs> we've watched. <laughs> <laughs> it's because they didn't have any get fucked. Everyone in the 20s talk like this. I'm going to go under the water and I'm going to explore the water. <laughs> what do you mean there's Fish people under the water. Yes, there's fish people under the water. There's heaps of background noise whenever they're talking. Oh, uh, blah, 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 clonk, clank, clank, clank. Oh, yeah, you can't hear we me. Need, we don't need to put background noise in our podcast to represent that. I think that we can be fine without <laughs> that sound, right? It was funny. I was immediately like, oh, there's no subtitles for this. This is going to be fun whenever they're talking. And then the first talking scene, it was just... Drowned out with background noise. I turned the TV up to like a hundred percent. I thought it was pretty legible, but Sandra was like, "Oh, they're putting background Ooh. noise. They have construction work. Oh my! Oh, it's so disgusting. The audio quality is dreadful. It offends oh, me. I'm a superior audio engineer, I'm and this hurts audio to bro. listen to. Yes, you're an audio bro. I'm an yes. audio bro. <laughs> True, I'm an audio bro. That's true. E- even I, not not even an audio bro, if I hear anything with poor audio quality, I go, ooh. <laughs> ooh, that's a little... Yes, cringe. I have infected you with my audio bro Yeah, it's just it's just by doing a podcast, yeah. you know, for so long. It's just like, when you hear something that's a bit off, you're like, ooh, they, could, they need to adjust that. They, yeah. need to, they need to put a pop filter on that. Good yeah. lord. I'm rating this movie a... Oh, it's an oldie or a goodie. I don't know. I'm going to rate the first 15 minutes of this film an oldie, and the last oh, 20, 30 minutes of this film a goodie. That's exactly how I feel. <laughs> and I don't want to rate this movie two things, an oldie and a goodie. Well, here we are. We're in our binary fucking rating <laughs> system, aren't we? We are. We're stuck here. I'm going to rate it an oldie, because oldie. I liked the um, other thing, which means you should rate it a goodie. That's what I was thinking, because yeah, that's yeah. how we did The Lost World, but reverse. Yeah, I'll yeah, rate we'll this a goodie. Like sure, I'll go. rate this a goodie, because I thought it was fun. Would I watch this again? Never. <laughs> but it was fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean... I would recommend the last 30 minutes to my friends yeah. and just watch that bit. So it is somewhat of a goodie, but because of our binary dumb rating system, I have to choose one. So I'll give it an oldie. An oldie. But um, that's specifically against the first 50 minutes of the film, which we will get into yep. now. The podcast you're listening to will return in a second. But first, my name is Sally McSeller and I've got an ad read to do. Oh, the podcast you're listening to, oldie but a goodie, aren't they bloody funny and stuff and informative and all that? Well, if you want more of that sort of stuff, then you can go to patreon.com forward slash oldie but a goodie pod for ad-free episodes and bonus episodes like this bonus episode on Turbulence 3 Heavy Metal. Here's a clip! Can we talk about that plan? Can we talk about the Satanist <laughs> plan, please? <laughs> I'll allow it. <laughs> what the fuck? So they <laughs> hijack a plane full of people. Good start. During a, a storm. And of course, when there's a storm, the gates between Earth and Hell are, are thin. Oh, and there's a church in Kansas that's a <laughs> gateway to Hell. And so if they crash the plane into the church, Hell will be set loose. <laughs> Why back? Why Kansas? <laughs> I'm laughing so much that I'm peeking the microphone, but I don't care because I'm Selly McSeller and I'll do anything to make you go to patreon.com forward slash oldie buddy goodie pod and you can throw in a couple of dollars. Those dollars are $5 tier, $1 tier. As link in the episode is get back to the podcast. Yeehaw! I'm an American. Um, yeah, we got Count Dakar. Who? So, so he's a count, but he's an inventor. Yeah, you can be both. You can be both. I'm sure. I'm all for people being both. Be a count and an inventor. That's You're right. all, nothing else, though. He That's doesn't right. want you to be anything else other than a count and uh, inventor, which means... No, I'm only saying that if you are a count, you better also oh, be an inventor. Oh, okay. Or so if you... you're an inventor, you should look into also being a count. <laughs> you should marry. Yes. You should marry into wealth. You should marry a countess <laughs> and then become a count. 
<laughs> or you, you marry a count and then become a countess or marry or a count to be a count. Or you should join Sesame Street. Mm-hmm. Yes, you could and do that you too. could be the count. But that count's not an inventor. Doesn't invent stuff. Unless he invented numbers. I'm gonna... In my canon, he's like a million years old and he invented numbers. I believe that. I would believe yeah. that. There's some deep lore in Sesame Street. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, Absolutely. Yeah, so he's invented a submarine... And he's like, it's all because underneath my island, which is a volcano... Very important, it's a volcano, boys, because they go down and it's hot. Yes. And he's like, oh my god, it's like hell down it's here. So it's so hot. Um, underneath my volcano island, there are probably a fishmen. What? Da, da, da. But how do, how do you fucking figure that, you fucking lunatic? You figured it out because you I'm pretty you sure you've bone. had a leave of sanity, sir. Oh, that's a quote from the movie. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's because he's, he's been finding bones from fishmen, <laughs> and then putting together a skeleton yeah. based off no research. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, some research. I'm sure he's researched into it, but we don't see any. He doesn't know what they look like. Yeah. Well, it's, we didn't know what dinosaurs look like, but we were able to figure out most of them. Were we? Some of the time. I think most of them are wrong. At it least... still makes good movies, though. <laughs> Exactly, <laughs> and that's the important thing, Sandro. They had feathers, actually. Did you? I want to punch myself for saying that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're turning into a dino I'm bro a now. Dino bro. <laughs> uh, actually, they had feathers, so the first Jurassic Park movie is actually mm, incorrect, incorrect and bad. Unlike Jurassic World. No, they've got yeah, they got feathers in Jurassic. But it, oh fuck my friend. Um, but, <laughs> but in Jurassic World and stuff, they're all like man-made, like mutant dinosaurs and stuff. You're a man-made mutant dinosaur self. That's uh, offensive. <laughs> so anyway, yeah. Um, um so uh, there's this other Baron Duke uh, Fallon. Baron Fallon or Duke, whatever Baron the fuck he's called. Fallon. Yeah. That's what I call Jimmy Fallon. He's Baron Fallon. Oh, yeah. The villain of this can, all, can be Jimmy Fallon. I'm yeah. going to call him Jimmy Fallon for the rest of the episode. I like it. We'll call him Jimmy Fallon. It's better um, than making fun of James Corden again. <laughs> that's true. I'll do that as well. Mm -hmm. um, so, Fallon. He's taking over whatever country we're in. Um, is it, it? I don't know. I it's thought like it was a... Germany because they have Hussars, but they could also be Russian or Polish. Or Russian, whatever. Polish... Whatever. They looked Spanish, yeah, based off the ships and stuff That's that they true. had. But it, it it is probably Polish. Oh, something I reckon. Oh yes, that Polish navy. You gotta love that Polish navy. <laughs> yep. I don't know. So to rush through the first fifty minutes of the film, yes, we have main character and love interest. Um, you have the countess, who is the sister, the sister of Captain Nemo. She wants to bang this commoner guy. Nikolai. Nikolai. Tesla. Nikolai Tesla, yeah. <laughs> Who's like the chief engineer or whatever the crap. And uh, they go in the good old Nemo ship and give it a test run. Yeah. And that's all good. But while they're test running it, bloody Fallon's like, oh, this would be a good time if it came over and uh, fucks shit up. Yeah, comes over and fucks shit up because he is in love with Sonya. Is he? I don't know, he wants to marry her, I guess, to become a count. I guess? I think is what was... That, oh, yeah, because there was no the conflict. the start and then never came back. Well, there were, I I thought it was just a commoner difference, you know? It's like uh, she's marrying a commoner. Ew! Maybe. Gross. We need, to, we need to mention the sassy workers, though, because during that oh, scene, yeah. there's some sassy, it's like a regular pen and teller. Yeah, it's a pen and teller. It's the two Muppet hecklers mm -hmm. up in the Muppet Theater. I can't remember their names. Uh, I can't remember. Yeah, but um, they're, they're, they're doing some funny jokes. They're making fun of the whole fact that uh, the the lady is courting this commoner. And they're oh. like, ooh, she's not coming down here just for the scientific research, oh I tell you. <laughs> Bloody heckin' what the heck, am I right? <laughs> Oh. Yeah, they're good. They were barely in the movie, but I, I like yeah, the they two were, scenes they're in. They were the two seeds. They were quite good. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah, the the Baron takes over, yeah. and then the uh, the nautical ship, the first one, uh, rises up, and then they try and take it, but they fail, and so the nautical ship dives down again. Yes, 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 yes. And um, they're like, oh, shit, the no. place has been taken over. So Farland's like, you motherfuckers... I'm gonna get you and your little ship too. I'm a I'm a 
tie a girl up to a post on the rocks to try and bait you in like a fucking mermaid out of some fucking yeah. ancient tale. Yeah, he ties her up and then gets her to talk into a radio. By the way, I've got a radio, which is pretty cool. Yes, uh, but it wasn't her that talked into the radio. They got some other woman uh, to do to it. to pretend to say... Yeah, to pretend to be... people had only just discovered talking and... Yeah, and yeah, yeah. They and couldn't the... tell the difference. Yeah, because before everybody just talked oh, silently, oh, so no one could sense. tell between voices. That makes a lot of sense, actually. And the audience hadn't heard her voice in the movie yet, so there was no way of telling <laughs> if it was her or not. Yeah. So they go up to get her, even though everyone's like, this is a trap, and then yep. it's a trap, and then their ship gets cannoned. Gets fucking wrecked. And meanwhile, I'm like, why, <laughs> Why? I don't know. It's like, maybe he doesn't want the ship to warn the other people, or maybe he just wants to kill them because he's an asshole. I don't know. There's not real a good reason given. Oh, at one point they torture the lady... And she nearly dies. Yeah, she... Well, I, I thought she did die. No. But she just, I, like, yeah. passes out and is, like, shallowy. I thought she died as well. The scene made you think she had died. But, but she no, was she's right. not died. Um, they tie up Count Takar to a chair and then they sneak in the good guys and mm. Nikolai sneaks in in his incredibly loud underwater suit yeah. and picks up the chair and carries it out. Yeah, which is very funny. Yes. Um, but uh, then they try and sneak aboard the second ship, I think? Um, yeah, because um, Sonia and some random engineer are like, oh, we can go free. So they sneak into the second ship, mm. but then Fallon, Jimmy Fallon's like, oh, you're getting in that ship without me? I'm going <laughs> to get in the ship. They hop in, and meanwhile, the engineers are, are sinking the ship. Yeah. And so all they they, they have a big kerfuffle because they don't want the ship to, to launch, but it launches anyway. Yeah. And then the fucking lady's like, hey, you know what would be fun? If I grenaded the fucking air pressure system. Fuck you. Yeah, she grenades and Which, by the way, they set up earlier. Yeah, yeah, which is nice. They have the whole thing where it's like, oh, yeah, this is the pressure chamber. This allows us to raise up the ship. Mm -hmm. This won't be important for later. Wink, wink, wink. They blow it up, and then, um, yeah, the ship now. So, so, ship number two can't rise. It's just a coffin now. It's yep. a giant coffin at the bottom of the So, scene. you have two ships. You have one ship that's been shot at, yes. and is just springing up leaks everywhere. Yes. And you have the other one with a broken air pressure uh, valve thing, so yep. it can't rise. Can't rise. So what are you going to do? Well, you're obviously... You're going to put the air compressor in the second ship. Yeah, obviously you're going to get it from the first one to the second one and go yeah. up. That That's the obvious thing. But in the meantime, Sandra... Oh, you're going to check out the underwater city! Yeah, this is the whole reason we fucking wanted to watch the movie, but it so, took yeah. us fucking 50 minutes to get here. What we went fuck? through all that in about eight minutes, and um, that was like 50 minutes of the film. Yeah. Uh, pretty boring, honestly. Yes. But anyway, now it's the point of the movie. They're down there, and as soon as they get down there, we see legions of Tiny fish children. That, that, they're adults. Or they're, yeah, they're just They're just like, vertically challenged. Or just... As it is, as it is, the underwater, the mm. pressure from underwater would be crushing them because it's so deep. And I was like, because the, they grab some ropes and stuff and then start to pull the submarine. And I mm. was like, how are they so prepared for this? And then you were like, well, probably because they've, you know, they've come across other ships. And yeah. then as soon as you said that, we bloody see another ship that they've done this I did, to. I did call that along with you throwing your fucking I phone don't, on the I thought, should, My case is not on it. I'm going to put my case on it. Yeah, you go. should. You keep throwing it um, around. Um, this is how I am uh, <laughs> normally. I just throw my phone at Yeah, people. you're just like... Fuck you, how dare you Give me your number, it? and then I just throw a phone <laughs> at a woman. Um, <laughs> hey, look, that's a strategy. Um, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, uh, they they clearly like to drag these sunken ships. Yes, as they should, as we drag the movie, so it's fair Absolute, enough. Absolutely, it's they drag these thing. sunken ships back to their little, little home place. But the thing is, they also have a battering ram to get inside, which makes yeah. no fucking sense. Oh, yeah. For physics rise doesn't make any sense for a battering ram underwater because the water, especially at that pressure, would stop yeah. it from really doing any damage. Mm -hmm. But eh, for the sake of the movie, they're using a battering ram to get inside the mm -hmm. ship. 
Until all that banging noise. Oh my god. Summons a beast from the deep. It summons a dragon. Holy shit. Oh my god, it's, it's a terrifying. lizard. It's terrifying. It's a lizard. It's a fucking... Komodo dragon. It's a fucking crocodile. I thought it's it was a, a Komodo dragon. Nope, you're wrong. It was a baby crocodile that they had stuck horns on. Oh, that makes more sense. <laughs> <laughs> they had stuck, they had stuck like fake horns and like a fake half a stomach on top of it. Yeah, that's right. To give it like a that's curved right. back. I with thought, I spikes. thought they just took like the easy road out and put a tiny Komodo dragon up nope. against the punch. Nope, nope, no, no, <laughs> that's no, no, so no, much no. fucking funnier that they put prosthetics on it. Yeah, they definitely put prosthetics all over it. Yeah, it was this a little baby crocodile that was walking around. It was like, oh, that's so cute. Mm-hmm. It was a cute little boy. And then, uh, then they fucking shot torpedoes at it. Fuck this monster up. I was like, no! Monster, no! no. As the monster came rampaging Ooh. in this giant crocodile monster. It just casually walks over. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, it's... But, but from the perspective, you know, with all these little people yeah, next to yeah, it, it yeah. looked massive. They're horrified, and they're Huge. like, we're, we're, we're going to attack it! We're yep. going to attack it! And so they kill the dragon with two torpedoes. Yep, and then the, the little sea people are like, oh my god. You're our new gods now. We yep. will worship you. Blah, 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 blah. Yep. That's They're... how I think they talk. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> they, they, they sound like a cartoon character asleep. Yeah. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, exactly. Yep. Meanwhile, in ship number two, Sonia's like, I'm going to go steal the compressor from ship number one. Let me out of here. And uh, the Baron's like, yeah, I'll do that, but I'll also come with you, because I obviously don't trust you, because you're insane. Yeah. And so they do that, and then she walks out, and then, underwater fight, human versus human. Oh, it's a tense fight, and they <laughs> slap each other. They're, like, waving around these poles, but slowly, because they're underwater. I mean, it's accurate. That's how fighting underwater it's would pretty, look. Pretty spot on. It looks pretty stupid, though. It does. Um, and then, oh, by the way, as soon as we saw these big, uh, underwater suits and they had like spear things, yeah, yeah, yeah. I knew something like this was going to happen. Yeah. Cause this is the only reason they have these spear things at all during the movie. They yeah. use them for nothing else except this one fight between these two characters. Dakar and Jimmy Fallon mm-hmm. battle it out. They battle it and out. And Jimmy Fallon gets impaled in the face. Yep. And his blood gets poured into the water. Oh, and that makes the fish people go, hmm, blood. Yum, yum, yum. Yes. And they go and eat Jimmy Fallon. Oh my They God. eat him up. And that awakens an octopus. Well, well, yeah. All the blood wakes up an octopus, and the octopus is like, I'm going to come party. Yeah, they, they go a little crazy and then release the octopus to attack them for some reason. Also, the, the movie says... They go crazy because there's no blood this deep underwater. Which makes, I mean, I, 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 I the fish have blood. Yeah. <laughs> it's cold-blooded. Yeah. So I guess it's, you could warm say blooded. they meant warm-blooded. But they're under a volcano, so everything's warm. No, but that doesn't necessarily make them warm-blooded. No, 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 no. But, Le- like, the blood will be warm, you know what I mean? When it comes out of the fish, the blood's going to be warm because they're under a volcano. It's a dumb, j- just move on. <laughs> I don't want to question your logic here, Sandro. But a, but an octopus is like, let's go. Oh, and it's just a not a, not a regular octopus. Oh. It's a huge octopus, just so like big. just like the uh, ancient dragon beforehand. But this one, the octopus works for the sea people. Yes, it works for them, and it it comes up to the ship, and its tentacles are in the are in the entrance, and it grabs I, one guy I've, and it crushes I've, him. I've seen enough. I've seen enough Pirates of the Caribbean oh, movies. Thank God. To know where this is going. Thank God you didn't say hentai. Oh no! <laughs> um, we don't hentai shame here, except kinda. Yes. Um yeah, they We yeah. just regular shame we here. We just regular shame. But they still manage to escape. They get the air compressor from ship one and they put it in ship two and they get out of there. They yeah. skirt up to the surface. <laughs> Uh, and then, uh, they kill they some certainly soldiers. skirt. Uh, yeah, and then they sneak up on the soldiers, usually the submarine to sort of take them by surprise. Yeah. Storm the bay. Storm the bay. And grab the island once again for themselves. And then Dakar's like, I got it back, but, uh, you know what? 
kind of over all this. I would go become Captain Nemo, but actually what I'm going to do... Fuck this island. I'm going to fuck the island. And so he fucks the island. This is an awkward as fuck sex scene. But then... <laughs> He blows up the island. Oh my god. So no one can have the technology. Yeah, yeah. He blows up the island so that no one can have this ancient, powerful technology of submersible marine vehicles. Yes. Unfortunately for him, the Russians had already stolen the plan. Yeah, yeah. But it's fine, it's fine. And then his body is sent off in the ship and he's... Because he's dead. He's dead. Yeah, but he also blew it all up to preserve things, but in World War Two, everybody used submarines. So yeah. I guess he was right. Yeah. No one should have this power. No one. And that's the movie. It's a it's a prequel to Captain Nemo stuff, but it's it's also not because he dies. Yeah. Unless Nikolai becomes Captain Nemo, but that doesn't make any fucking sense. Yeah, well this is I this is a fan parody, I would say. <laughs> yeah, this is a fan film. Um yeah. it's kinda like Nosferatu is to Dracula, I guess. It's yeah, its yeah, yeah. Thing. It's own little weird thing. Yeah, and agree. It's, f- it's fine. I don't know. That final part with all the sea people is is it's damn great. Fun. It's great. I love them going around. I love them swimming. Yeah, because you see them like the ones on the ground are like walking, but half walking. They kind of like wave their arm about to indicate that they're swimming, but it's like not swimming at all. No. But then there are some swimming ones, which are like yeah. flying around swimming, which they're is on pretty wires good. And stuff flying around. The it's effects okay. are really nice. Like, as you said, the underwater effects where they're just in an aquarium. Yep. That was funny. They've like superimposed a, a model ship on it and it looks really good. It does. It's got a propeller that's going broom, which is pretty fun. Yeah. 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 And we see some fish and uh, um, the I'm... underwater effects of like the giant creatures are really good yeah it's pretty well done I liked uh, the explosions as well there's some some booms um, they some blow booms? up a ship they blow oh up a yeah ship right at, at the end yeah because the fleet of the the Spanish fleet or whatever it is yeah has rocked up to the island to take control in it but they use the submarine to sneak up on ships and blow them up you yeah. know how yeah. submarines work and cool. it just fucking annihilates it. It's very cool. That was really solid. Oh, oh, like, this oh is... the explosions on the monster. The 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 uh, crocodile. The yeah. The crocodile monster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was really funny. Because it went, poo! And then the 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 uh, crocodile would just react two seconds later. Mm. Very funny. That was very funny. I enjoyed that as well. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I'm trying to think of anything else to mention. Not really. The version that we watched was quite a, kind of low quality, but I think it's mm. the only version of the movie because I think it, it, it was deleted or something. So oh, it's like really? some weird old version that they have. Hey, but the, uh, and the audio effects were good and yep. the audio was pretty good. Uh, blah, 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 blah. It was nice having characters talk again. It's yeah. a relief. It uh, look, old, black and white, no talking. Mm-hmm. It's good. We've enjoyed them. I like them. But it's time to move forward in technology. We've done nine back to back. And yep. now I think you should pick a talkie next week. Absolutely. Because, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, we are done. We are done with this. We need a break mm. from silent movies. Sure. I'm going to go back and watch more silent movies. Mm. But um, when you do them back to back to back to back to back, it's like... I need uh, something to uh, engage me a little bit more. Yeah, I think if we only look, watched good ones... Yeah, like but, great but, ones. Yeah. yeah, yeah, great ones. It would be good, but they've kind of fallen off. I mean, um, Metropolis was really good. Metropolis but... was good, but like the general last week and then this, it's like... Eh. Yeah, yeah, they're kind of mid. They're getting that's a bit the... mid. Oh, yeah. well. Uh, anyway, that's that's the movie. Um, yeah, I'm trying to think anything else to mention. I'm just quickly going through my notes... That is, that is, that is it. Oh, there's one scene. I think it's when sh- oh, yeah. Ship One gets attacked by cannons and stuff. The flooding looks fucking amazing. Oh, of yeah. The ship that oh, really yeah. Good. When it was collapsing and there was like some, ah, yeah. as someone got hit by a steel beam, which was very funny. That was solid. That, that, if that was made nowadays, we would have a Wilhelm scream right ah. there. Yeah, totally. Oh, yeah. We're pre Wilhelm scream right yeah, now. That's yeah, crazy. yeah. Isn't crazy. that funny to think about? Um, but we're getting there because we've got sound effects coming in, right? Mm-hmm. They're coming in. And I think Wilhelm was during a Western was the first yeah, time it yeah, was used. Yeah. So yeah, we, we, we might have to start doing some Westerns at some point. Absolutely. 
Hey guys, it's Julie and KB from Elvis Lives, a conspiracy theory podcast. What do we talk about, Julie? Conspiracies. No way. What kind do we talk about? Celebrities. Mm, government. Time travel. Ooh. Tune in every Monday. What day? Monday. What was it? Monday. Oh, Monday. Monday for your fill of conspiracy theories. But now we're going to come up with a remake of The Mysterious Island. And oh my. There's a, there's many other versions of this. There's uh, 2000 Leagues Under the Sea, um, which, you know, which is an adaptation of this. It combines the two books into one book, mm. into one movie, I mean. Uh, Absolutely. There's Mysterious Island from 1961, which is uh, d- d- about uh, some American Civil War prisoners who land on an island yeah. with giant animals and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's the one I was expecting for this movie. Ah, uh, yeah. It was not at all. And there's, uh, of course, Journey to... The Mysterious Island, which was the sequel to Journey to the Center of the Earth. Yeah. Uh, except Dwayne Johnson is Brendan mm. Fraser and mm. Vanessa Hudgens is in it. And it's mm. just a weird CGI nightmare. Mm. It was great. I loved it. I can't remember it. I'm going to have to go back to it. <laughs> I can't really either. Oh, and there's, of course, the 2005 TV movie with Patrick Stewart as Captain Nemo. Ooh. Um, but it's a TV Ooh. movie. TV movies uh, very rarely hold up, as we uh, saw last year with yep. all the ones that we did Oof. on the podcast. Oof. But anyway. Yeah, so now we've got to come up with a sequel. With a with our own remake. You, you when, know what I'm doing immediately. What are you doing immediately? I'm cutting half an hour of the start of this film and pasting in an extra half an hour of exploring the deep. Yeah, I want them to go down in the submarine. Now, is this... Are we setting this in, like, the 1800s? Mm. So it's, like, yeah. steampunk. Aesthetic. Ooh! I did not think of that, but yes, we're doing that mm. now, absolutely. Because the journey to the center of the Earth stuff was, like, modern day from memory. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. No, I want to make it, like, old. So the, the submarine is the most modern piece of tech. I mean, they have a yeah. radio as well, yeah. which is also pretty modern. Oh, yeah, I was going to mention the visual effect. They have, like, a light... Mm-hmm. A star-shaped light that was behind cool. the radio yeah. to indicate the flickering lights of the two uh, from the ship and the land connecting via radio. It was a yeah. good visual representation of how they were connecting with the radio, which engaged the audience. Especially back then, the audience would have been very familiar with technology, so mm. I thought it was a very clever way. I agree. Yeah. Anyway, so what's going to happen is, you know that first voyage, right? Yeah. Yeah. So we're going to extend that first test voyage to like a test to underwater, right? Yes. And we're going to have a first interaction with the underwater people, right? And something goes wrong and then they're, they're prisoners and then the ship to us to come down and save them. Whoa, I wasn't thinking that, but or we they are come doing back that up now. And then do nope, stuff. nope, nope, we're going, we're going to save them. Oh, okay, we'll have three then. We'll have the three first ships. one where they scout it out, right? Yeah. And they discover, oh, there's this like hidden cave system down here. So they go up and then prepare. And maybe maybe they find like a claw of a giant crab, Ooh, or or yes. no, what you know what they find? They find like a broken off horn or tooth of the dragon, mm. and they're like, "What is this mysterious thing?" And so that they go up, prepare, yeah, and, and they, they go bring back, it back down, and then get taken prisoner. Yeah, my first thought for a director, uh huh, James Cameron. James Cameron. We need to get him to stop doing Avatar stuff. Look, Avatar 2 was fine, but hey, I want him to do something else. Hey, Avatar 2, a l- lot of water features. A lot of water. He I can want, do underwater. I want him to do a sub... Like, it's basically a submarine movie. I want yeah. a James Cameron submarine movie. We already have The Abyss. Look, Let's the do it aliens again. and the creatures looked amazing in that. The yeah. underwater scenes were incredible. So yeah. I think he could do a great... Mysterious Island. Mm. Yeah. James Cameron's Captain Nemo series. Ooh. Oh. Yeah. yeah. A whole series. Yeah. Which means, who do we cast as James uh, as Captain Nemo or slash Count Dacca? I can't wait for um, the Sully family. Um, We're not putting <laughs> Sam Woods <laughs> in, in, in the submarine being like, 
we are family and family and stick family. together. And then he goes fuck some some, some uh, fish people yeah. and becomes a fish person. Becomes a fish man. No, we're not doing that. But James Cameron as director, I would like to see him return to this like small enclosed sort of story. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. Think that could be, really be interesting. Cool. Um, I, so when we first saw Count Dacca, I thought he looked like Owen Wilson. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so I wrote down Owen Wilson, but I don't know, is he a Captain Nemo type? He can do dramatic. Yeah, I think, I think that could be good. I, I, I could see him actually being a Captain Nemo. Yeah. Sort of thing. Like, he's a good actor, and he'd be pretty fun as Captain Nemo, I think. Yeah, he'd be eccentric, he'd be silly. Yeah, yeah absolutely. We go for, like, eccentric genius, yeah. right? He's, he's a bit extravagant. He's like, hey, I've got a fucking submarine. Woo! Let's go! It's like, the reason he's kept around is because he's a genius. Yeah. Not because anyone likes him, because no one likes him, because he's a fucking wacker. Definitely. Um, so maybe we have our main character then be Nikolai... So yeah, we'll well, he everything. is sort of the main character of yeah. this. Uh, who... And my first thought for Nikolai, as soon as I saw him, I was like, Elijah Wood. Yeah, Elijah Wood. Oh, mm-hmm. <laughs> Elijah Wood. Yeah, get him in here. Mm-hmm. Oh, that would be great. Who's the female lead? I don't know. Him? I don't know who would be that's good, a good in that role. That's a good question. Um... Who is our Fallon, by the way? Because I think it may be like... Uh, after the second, when when the second ship goes down to save the other ship, that's when Farlin decides to take over the facility. It's not like a instead of maybe like he's wanting to start a revolution. He's a businessman. Yeah, and he like wants to take over this corporation to invest in it and like sell submarines to the U.S. military or something. You know, something. Oh, I like, like that. that idea a lot. Yeah, like yeah, he yeah, yeah. he's not he's not a. Uh, Duke so much as he is like he's a rich person who wants to be richer so he takes over the facility Mm. like a hostile takeover right? Yeah so someone's scheming someone a bit mean yeah I'm not not sure who would who comes to mind Benedict Mm. Cumberbatch Benedict Cumberbatch I mean pretty good yeah he could be good I like him as that yeah as as that sort of role hmm that could be Brendan Fraser kind of like a businessman Brenda Fraser is the bad guy. guy Oh, I like that a lot. I like that a lot. That's very funny. Because he's got a nice demeanor about him. But you could give him a mustache. Mm. And then he does like a comedic villain. Yeah, comedic villain. Bad guy. It's James Cameron's. It would be pretty silly. So yeah, that works. Yeah, yeah. But also, um, I think what's going to happen is they're going to go down... And discover the like first submarine captured by the fish people, and they have some sort of game or negotiating, or they help them once again defeat the giant uh, dragon thing. Yeah, which we can see is like missing a claw or a horn, which yeah. is the thing they found earlier. Yeah, they help them defeat it. They befriend the fish people, and then they get the fish people to help them take back the island. Oh, I like that idea. Fuck yeah. Yeah, yeah. But then the fish people are like. But we could then rule the world. What the fuck? And so they've got to fight the fish people off. Oh, yeah, no, no, no. Different faction of fish, fish people. Yeah. You have one people that are like, oh, the fish, the, the land dwellers, they helped us kill the dragon, they're our friends. And the other fish people are like, they're still land dwellers, they're still the enemy, we need to kill them. And you know who should play the fish people? Yep. Ahmed Best. Ahmed Best. The voice and, uh, well, the motion capture and the voice actor of Jar Jar Binks. Should be the fish. Oh, fuck me. All fuck the fish you. people. No, fuck off. He should be all the... He's a good... He's a fuck great guy. you. He's... You know, he wouldn't do the thing. He just, like, he'd play fuck them. And I think that'd be really cool. Fuck you. I was, he, I was thinking Stephen Lang for one of the... Um, for one of the fish people. He could be the evil fish person. As the fish per... Yeah, that's yes, funny. Because that's really funny. We've already seen Leader him as people. a giant blue alien general. Yeah. Now I want to see him as a fish person general. We could do Stephen Lang. That's funny. <laughs> that is very funny. Yeah. Stephen Lang. I just is... want to put him as every, like, alien, but it's just the most, um like, generic American commando. Mm-hmm. But it's all these different species, but this one guy is a oh, generic... Yeah. American gung-ho guy. Yeah. He's the fish king. He can be the fish king. <gasps> the fish king. Fish yeah, king. fish king. Fuck yeah. Yeah, so who's Sonia? Uh, Emma Watson. What about the lady who played uh, Sarah Jones? Sarah Jones? Jessica Jones. Oh, Christian Ritter. 
Yeah, Christian Ritter. Yeah, she is not in much. We can put her in this. Yeah, for sure. Christian Ritter. I'd like Christian Ritter. Yeah, I'd like to see more from her. So yeah, that's that's who I was thinking. Christian Ritter's good. I'll put that in. Sounds good. All right, James Cameron's The Mysterious Island, and then obviously we do other Captain Nemo stuff after that. Absolutely, we have multiple fish people relations happening. Yeah, that's gonna happen, and mm-hmm. we're gonna have the divide between them. You're gonna have the land versus there, so she can be side with mm-hmm. the fish people. And he can side with the, you know, regular humans. Oh, and so they have Captain a... Nemo and, and Sonya have to have a fight. Yeah. Uh, and then they've got to combine all the different worlds. So there's like the fire fish people who are in the volcano. Oh, yeah. We got the earth ones. Yeah. And then it's just the avatar. He, so he, we can, he does it again. So we can name each of our films one bit of the avatar and eventually copyright strike the entire avatar series hell yeah for daring to have the same fucking name as my series fuck you how dare they yeah. all right there we go that's mysterious island and that's the entire episode thanks so much to everyone for listening as always yeah. this is a good time we appreciate you yes we appreciate your ears yeah we well, appreciate your ear holes but that's more like it yes and i don't really care about your lobes i just want to be in your holes. oh i like a good lobe you like why a good not lo- yeah lobe? like a good, i don't I care for them frankly i'm straight for the hole that's what i do that's fair that's fair you're yeah. you're, 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 a, you're very direct you know yep you you throw a phone at someone so at give me your no <laughs> give me your number i need to get in your holes yep that's what i do regularly <laughs> Anyway, um, uh, if you like the show, first of all, thank you for liking the show. That's a that's so weird. That's an you. achievement. Why do you like this? Uh, we're on everything. We're on Instagram and Facebook at Oldie Buddy Goody Pod for new episodes. I really should get us on TikTok, but I have not yet. I might Cringe. need to hire the orphan to start oh, doing the TikToks for me. That would that sounds awful. Yeah. That's a great idea. Well, there is Patreon.com forward slash Oldie Buddy Goody Pod if you do want to help the show out on a financial. In a financial way, um, out on out on uh, Wednesdays, our review of Friday the Thirteenth Part Three D, which we didn't see in three D. Yeah, because you can't get the movie in three D. It's annoying. But anyway, uh, that's the thing that we did. But yes, Zach, you've got to pick our next movie, which is from nineteen thirty. Uh, a lot of talkies, a lot of fun stuff happening. Yeah, there's it- a lot of good movies. So there's like the. All Quiet on the West Front. Mm, on the Western Front. That was recently remade. One of my favorite films of 2022. Oh, wow. There was the remake go. of that. There I fucking go. loved it. But yeah, the original. You've got Moby Dick. You did what with my one? What else do you have? You've got a movie called Not So Dumb. Mm. Ooh, Not So Dumb. Oh, she hosts, a, she hosts a dinner party and she invites an executive who can help her husband get ahead of business. Oh, she's not so dumb. That sounds super misogynistic. Mm, uh, what about Whoopi? Nope. It's a, it's a musical called Whoopi, where Sally loves a Native American man. That's going to be <laughs> Yeah? Uh, you want to do uh, that one, no, Sandro? I don't think we should no. do that one. So, well, I've chosen one. Yes? Uh, well, and it's about a missing painting. <gasps> it's called Animal Crackers. <gasps> Marx Brothers. Yes! Fuck yeah! Uh, and it's about, you know, uh, some people steal a painting while there's a party going on and shenanigans ensue. See, you were like, I'm gonna do a talkie, and you just picked, like, the reason why talkies got popular. Yeah. It was, like, Marx Brothers comedies. I and, mean, like, why wouldn't comedies. we do that one? So that makes complete sense. That's a great idea to kick off the 30s with. Absolutely. I've got to go back to the future. Make sure to remember to ask the guy oh. about that really important thing. Yeah, I'll do that. Sounds yeah. good. All right. Uh, bye. I'll see you next week in the 30s. <laughs> oh, my God. It's so <laughs> gross. Oh, there's, there's, there's oh, yeah, liquid so everywhere. Iconic Brooklyn exit. Oh, you're... you're Kai, it's you. What was your name again? Uh, that's a great question. Let me go on my phone and quickly. Why the look fuck it. do you have a phone? Oh, uh, because Harry rules the world and gave yes. everyone phones. I gave everyone stupid. iPhones. This is the new i10. It's mm. great. Uh, mm-hmm. Milton Freeman. Milton Freeman. Um, uh, you had something important to tell me about the future of the world, Milton Freeman. Oh yeah, but then I watched uh, fifty minutes of fucking boring ass movie and I forgot. I forgot oh, what I was going to tell you. It was really vital for Oh, the you watched the movie while we were recording about the movie. Yeah, well, I was I was watching it in uh, Zach's mind. He yeah, all the memories. His, yeah, he couldn't get his head out of, you know, the movie and how boring the first 50 fucking oh minutes are. God, so you watched it 
And now you've forgotten what you were going to tell me, and now the world is going to end. It's probably to do with cryptocurrency or something, you know. So, mate... What do you think I should do to stop Harry Grindle? Oh, I'd, in, I'd invest in Bitcoin, you know. That would make you a millionaire. I'm not doing that. That's a bad <laughs> idea. What? I I should... And plus, I can't travel to the future. I can only go one year at a time. Yeah, I will wait. With this portal machine. You can get there. Maybe Give I, it a couple more years, you'll get there. I, how do I defeat Harry? That's, that's kind, of the, kind of the question. That's a great question. Hmm. Also, I just realised that you're dungeon mastering this season by giving me random NPCs to talk to. <laughs> yeah. And that's the whole, uh, like, season of the show. Yeah. Is you just being a dungeon master and I've got to figure my way out I of I like how you figured that out now. Yeah, I just figured that out now. <laughs> <laughs> this um, is actually D&D. Next year, D&D <laughs> podcast. Oh, no. Man, yeah, we should. <laughs> that's the whole takeover. This whole time, the evil plan was for Zach. To take over and make this a fucking D and D podcast. Oh no! You fall, you fall for it. <gasps> that was it. That was the thing I needed to warn you. What Zach's was going to turn the podcast into a D and D podcast. Hold on a second. The Grin, the Harry Grindle Matthews thing is a diversion for me because Zach is in the future changing Oldie but a Goodie into Oldie but a Goodie the Dungeon and Dragons podcast. Yeah, I don't know why that was relevant to saving the world, because that doesn't really affect anything. Yeah, because that was the diversion. <laughs> so wait, he went and... He went He and fucked he... up time so we could change the podcast! Oh, oh my god! Shit. Well, I've got to pretend that I don't know this information yeah, on the next episode. True. And I'm going to try and... I'm going to try and get a... Fi- find a way to, to distract him so I can take over and rewrite the ship, but I'm also going to have, probably have to deal with all the time fuckery as well. <laughs> Wait, I thought your idea was to reverse all the time fuckery, not create it. Yeah, I'm going to reverse the time fuckery. Okay, okay. But I'm also going to intercept Zach uh, and stop him from turning this into a and d podcast. That sounds like a... a, a that sounds like a good plan, <laughs> brother. <laughs> Alright. Well, now that I know my plan for the next ten episode long arc, now that Act 1 of this story is over, I'm going to open that portal, and I'm going to go in, come here, orphan, come right here, you're why you're a good little boy. Whoa! I hate that you said that. I'm going to go into that portal, and I'm going to go where no man has gone before. 1930! Alright, gonna go watch. Oh, Netflix on my Xbox. Yeah. What the fuck? Time is <laughs> fucked. But I, the, the D&D stuff's more important. Goodbye! Man, this story whack as hell. <laughs> yeah.